Hey guys, so today I'm going to make a tutorial video on how to use the MPC Bullseye tool that comes with VJ Base. So before I get started, I just want to say that I'll make more videos on the other tools, but since the Bullseye tool is pretty simple, I thought I might as well make it, you know, the first tutorial. So first things first, let's press reset, reset to default to make sure everything is in, you know, default and first thing is well you love you left click to spawn this little cube and by default it should have a green color that means it's activated so by saying activated the NPCs will attack it see and you can actually deactivate this by pressing E on it and you will hear a sound and it will also print in the chat now it's red and now it's no longer detected it's like not there and then you can enable it again see now they see it pretty simple so the first option you guys will see in the settings is this by default it says dynamic and there's two other options physics and static as well so dynamic it doesn't have a physics, it can be grabbed, shot at, and you know, you can change the properties with tools. But, there's also physics, which is basically the same thing as dynamic, but with physics. It's like a prop, basically. But, you know, a prop that NPCs will think that it's an NPC. Because basically, this bullseye to the NPCs it's like a another NPC like an enemy NPC to them. so the static one is it's like you cannot you cannot interact with it bullets go through it nothing can grab it it's basically like not there but NPCs can't see it and you can see it as well the second option is you can change the model so let's say you want them to you know attack a certain prop and always see it as an enemy you can just you know go to the prop get the directory paste it here spawn it let me just make it as physics and there you go they will attack this prop now you can see let me go over there there you go. Now, you might be wondering, okay, what if I don't want the color? I mean, yeah, it's helpful to know if it's activated or deactivated, but what if you don't want the color? Well, you can actually, you know, disable it right here. So, let me respawn it and see. It no longer has a color on it. So, it's basically a prop that NPCs see it as enemy now. You can also... Let me just reset this to default. You can also uh, spawn it deactivated. So when you spawn it, it's, de it's deactivated unless you enable it. And a couple last things that I want to point out is you can change the relationship in this. Because like I said, this is technically an NPC. So let me spawn another one. So right now, the clot will detect it, but if I were to get the clots uh, class, what you can do is, you know, right click, get the class, apply it on it, you see down here, apply the relationship, and he no longer sees him, see, o or the other killing floor, nobody sees it. See if I were to spawn a Come on, let's get another out. NPC. Let's go, let's go, let's go. They they will attack. Just help out the guy so he doesn't die. <laughs> See? He still detects it. So yeah. It's pretty simple, easy to use tool, 
and in the future I might add a little setting over here to you know disable like to to activate and deactivate using a you know keypad number or something but yeah for now this is the settings and it's easy to use it's good for testing things out or just making NPCs attack something forever <laughs> If you wanna, if you wanna make a background noise, for example, like this. Like, let's say, spawn one over here. Let me just disable AI. I don't know. You put one of these, I guess. You know, you could just make it as a background noise. Cause the NPC will just keep attacking it forever, and it doesn't have any health. Now, in the future as well, I might actually add a health if you want. But currently, I haven't done any of that, but, you know, if I do, I'll update it, and I'll let you guys know. Alright, and, yeah, that's it. And like I said, I'll make more tutorials for the other tools as well. I'm guessing the ones that people want especially is the relationship modifier and the spawner, because I think they're more, a bit complicated than the others. So, yeah, see you guys later.